again my fellow freedom builders and welcome to yet another video here from Building Freedom. As always I'm Hans Nelson and I will be your guide to building a good and solid financial future. Today we're going to look at a very important tool, my favorite tool of all time. We're going to look at a piece of software that is completely free that you can just log into a website and use whenever you want to look at prices for stocks or commodities or currencies or cryptocurrencies or whatever you want to look at charts with prices on, this is the place to go. I have tried hundreds, maybe thousands of different products and software packages and this is without a doubt the best I have ever tried. And then it's free. That's also a paid version and, and this is actually such a good product that it is one of the few products I've chosen to make an affiliate deal with. Meaning that at one point in the video, I'm gonna say that if you want to uh, access the software, just press the link below the video. Then that will be an affiliate link, meaning that if you at some point in your life want to choose the, the subscription version of the software, then I get a little cut, a little commission, and I will of course be you eternally grateful. Anyway, let's go to the software on my laptop. Two things first. First of all, remember to hit that subscribe button and the like button if you like this video and want to see more of this. Secondly, if you hang on to the end of the video, I will show you a little trick so that if at some point you should choose the paid version of the software, then I think I can get you about 50% off. I know that a lot of people have gotten that before using this little trick and I think it is still possible for you. So. Let's jump onto the computer and I will show you exactly what this is all about. All right, I'm at my computer now and I am looking at a, at a website called TradingView. So this is just called, let me see, tradingview.com. All right, and you can, of course, as I mentioned, just access the website using the link below the video. But this website, when you first log on to it or, or you get into the, it here, it is not looking very sexy. It actually looks a bit messy, but that is because they're, they are offering so much. So when you get into the front page here, you can see that there are a lot of different options. I'll show you the first option here, uh, the charting option, which is what I use um, the software for uh, most of the time, actually. So here you can see a stock chart. You can see the Facebook stock and you can see the stock chart shown with what's called candlesticks. Um, every of these little colored dots here is one uh, week worth of data. But you can shift that if you want to see a daily chart as, as it's called here. You can see every dot here is now the price movement within a day. If you are using the technical analysis. If you, I know I talked about it in a video where I compare technical to fundamental analysis. And if you use technical analysis where you're looking at price chart, uh, price charts here, this is outstanding. So right now we're just looking at the price. As I mentioned, you can shift between different time frames. You can also, if you want uh, the price shown in another, in another way, you can just choose whatever way you want to. Maybe as a line chart, some people prefer that. This is the way a lot of technical analysis used to chart the price uh, some years ago. Uh, we have the point and figure down here, which is actually the way I got started in 1987, where I just used uh, a normal paper and a pencil and I made these charts myself. So there are a lot of different options in here. You can use, if you're a technical analyst and you uh, use indicators, which is, as I mentioned in, in another video, is just the price manipulated by some sort of, of math, some algorithm. Uh, down here we have uh, the indicator called the RSI. And if you put indicators on, you can uh, put different uh, para uh, parameters in here, uh, whatever you want to. Um, if you want other indicators on, you can see we have here uh, the built-in indicators. There are hundreds of indicators. And if that's not enough, you can uh, access the public library where people have programmed all sorts of different uh, indicators, all sorts of variations, and you can put them on if you want to. So 
I think there is enough for even the most fanatic technical analyst, uh, analyst here. There are a lot of drawing tools out here. I can draw lines and I can draw channels and I can make uh, profit and loss uh, targets here. Uh, I can do pretty much everything I want with this piece of software. Uh, there are a few, few limitations if you use the free version. For instance, you cannot uh, use the split screens. Uh, I think uh, at least not more than two. I actually only think you can use one screen here. But if you have the paid version, you can use split screens. Um, and you can have Fibonacci levels and boxes and there are pretty much no limit to what you can do here. And if you're a bit into programming, you can actually also program your own indicators. So that is the charting part of it. But let's just go back to the, f to the starting page because there is so much more to this piece of software. As you can see here at the front page, there are a lot of different kind of block articles here. And that is because you ha we have this menu here called ideas. And here you can follow different authors, different uh, people that have ideas of what to buy or sell. For instance, you can go in here and you, can, you might have an idea that you want to buy or sell some cryptocurrencies. Well, then you press the crypt uh, cryptocurrencies tab here and you get a lot of trading ideas from other people that have analyzed different uh, cryptocurrencies. Uh, it could also be that you say, I'm primarily interested in trend analysis, maybe with trend lines, I don't know. And here you can, you can follow these different people. It's kind of like a, a social media and you can comment and you can like their posts. But here you can see there's an oil testing a Fibonacci level and there's a short trade on dollar and gold and Ethereum and whatever. So if you need some inspiration as to what to trade, I'm not using that, that much because I'm more of a slow conservative trader on a weekly stock charge. But in here, there should be plenty of ideas. Also, if you want to follow different markets, it could be that you are following some crypto, uh, sorry, some currencies, it could be one of the large uh, currencies, one of the majors, then you can see you have the euro dollar and the uh, dollar yen and pound dollar and so on. You can see that trading view is also giving it a rating from sell to buy, strong buy, strong sell, etc. And everything is, is exp uh, explained in here. You can see there are the miners and exotics and so on. If you're into currencies, you know all about this. So you can follow all the markets you want to. And I have yet to uh, find a, a stock or a commodity that, is, that it is not in here. I have found charts on everything. The tiniest, tiniest stock from all over the world that is in here. Most of the stocks are on a 15 minute delay on, on the charts. But uh, if you're like me, just uh, trading on a, on a weekly basis and then 15 minutes delay, that doesn't really matter. But if you want live uh, data, uh, for instance, on uh, if you are day trading stocks, for instance, well, then you can just subscribe to that and that is just a few dollars uh, per month. Then we have the screener and uh, there's stock, forex and crypto screener. Let, let me just show you the stock screener here. The stock screener, um, there are all stocks in the world. Right now we are at the US market, but as you can see, there are pretty much every market you can imagine. Bahrain, whatever, wherever that is. Uh, um, there's Belgium and then Brazil and Canada and Chile and whatever, all markets are here. Then you can put in some filters. Let's say for instance that you want the US market and you only want the larger stocks, maybe above 10 billion in market capitalization and above, uh, I don't know, a thousand employees. Let's just take that one. And you want a certain level of volume, meaning how, how many stocks are traded every day. And um, maybe you want the three month performance to be, I don't know, above um, some sort of value here, above 10% that might be think here and you can put in whatever criteria you want to average volume all of the indicators but when you're finished here you just exit like this and we can see here that there are now six criteria in the filter and now all the US stocks that meet your criteria 
are now present here and you can start to look through them and uh, you can see some of them are cells and bars and strong bars etc and you can always uh, manipulate that and this way just push the rating and you can see I only want to see the strong bias here and then you have the strong bias. Alright, so the screener, that one is pretty awesome and as I mentioned in the beginning I have tried almost every product on the market and I've also tried all sorts of different screeners and scanners and usually they are actually not even as good as this one and this one is for free. So that is really really amazing. All right, here under the pricing, as you can see, it's not that I'm gonna go into all the, the, the different things you're paying for here, but as you can see, there is a basic version, and uh, I think 90% of the people I have introduced uh, this uh, trading view to, they're just using the basic version. But if you should be interested in leveling up, they have a pro, a pro plus, and a premium version, and that is rating from, uh, ranging from uh, $13 per month to $50 per month. As you can see, I'm currently at the Pro Plus here, around $25 per month. Beneath here, you can see exactly what you get from uh, uh, for your money. And the reason why I'm using the Pro Plus is something about the number of charts and the number of indicators per chart. And um, yeah, there are some different uh, options here how many pre-built uh, popular indicators you have, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So that is the reason I, uh, I hit a ceiling at one point when I did some quite advanced analysis and uh, I chose the Pro Plus. I haven't found any reason to you to, to spend twice as much on that, the $50 per month. I don't know, maybe I will at some point. But that is the pricing if you should choose to uh, pay for, for a subscription at one point. But start out with the basics. Then I said in the beginning that uh, I had a trick that might help you to get th these prices cut in half. And the trick is actually that, it's not really a trick actually, but TradingView are very interested in getting new subscribers in. Uh, I know that I started at, at the uh, basic here and pretty quickly I got up at the pro and I have been a customer of, uh, for, uh, at, their, at their company now for, I don't know, three, four, maybe five years. And uh, so I'm a good customer and when they get customers to pay a bit, they usually tend to stick around because it's such an awesome product. So if you start with the basic, maybe within a, a couple of weeks or three weeks, they'll start sending you mails and, uh, and asking you if you would be interested in choosing a pro version, for instance, at only $13 per month. If they are not offering you a discount at that point, you should just ignore the mail. And then, at least in most cases I have heard about, within a couple of weeks, they'll start sending you a bit more aggressive mail saying, hey, are you sure you don't want to be a customer? And if you want to, we can cut this price in half if you uh, subscribe for a year, for instance. And uh, that's actually how they got me in. Uh, I got the first year at some something about six or seven dollars per month for an, for an entire year and um, I actually also think it was because of a 50% discount that I took it up a notch to the Pro Plus. So they are very aggressive in their selling, not in a completely pushy way but they really want to sell their stuff and I understand that because it is a good product. So uh, just wait a bit, don't buy at the first time when they are offering at full price, just wait till they cut the price in half. I have also heard from several users, I haven't tried this one myself, but if at any point you're paying the full price, let's say you have been a customer for a couple of years at $25 like I am, and I choose to stop my, I can just cancel my subscription, then within a very short while they, they start sending uh, mails out to the former customers and saying we are so sad to see you go wouldn't you consider coming back if we cut the price in half i cannot guarantee that you can get this sort of, of deal uh, since i haven't tried it myself but i have heard of several people maybe they said that they had to go on a two month travel somewhere in the world or that in the next three months they would be extremely busy at work so they wouldn't have time to to look at charts and then they cancelled the subscription and very shortly after that they started to get mail from Tra TradingView offering them some heavy discounts. So shortly this is as I mentioned the best product I have ever seen in this niche and it is free. 
As I just mentioned, you can get a subscription, but there is absolutely no reason for you to start at the subscription level. Just start with the free version. And uh, I am going to make a, a ton of videos about TradingView because there are a lot of details in here that I uh, haven't included in, in the video today. So I will put all of these videos in a playlist, just saying uh, the TradingView playlist or something like that. And um, then you can just watch them as they come. I am planning five or six different videos about this topic uh, within the next month or month and a half. So there will be plenty of good tricks and tips for this platform. But as I said, this is my complete favorite tools, tool in the entire world when it comes to stock analysis, the technical part of it. And it actually also has some very neat features when it comes to the fundamental data, the economical news of, of the different companies. But I will get back to that later when we go into details with it. So I hope this made sense. As I mentioned in the beginning, this is an affiliate deal I have made with them. Uh, I actually used them three or four years before I made this deal, so there, there's nothing uh, tricky there. But uh, if you want to support this channel and you want to uh, try TradingView, then please use the link below the video. I'll make sure to put it in the text and you will support me if at some point you uh, start using a paid subscription version. That's all for now, my friends. Take care of your money out there and I will talk to you soon. Bye for now.